We are still waiting on the Shot Creek crew to come out to our job. Many, many texts and calls, and they almost came out several times, but not quite. While that saga plays out in the background, let's cover these skylight curbs. To start, we covered the concrete skylight curbs with rigid insulation. Actually, it's a wood frame of treated lumber wrapped in four inches of Fomular 250, plus lath to hold the stucco. To save some money, we're mixing our own stucco. Five buckets of sand, 94 pounds of cement, and 17 pounds of lime, and mixed on a tarp. Then we put this mix into buckets and take it up onto the roof of the garage. There, we mix it up using a drill mixer and slap it onto the lath. Again, I shake my head looking back at my poor stucco skills. We're much better at this now. Uh, switching to a rounded pool float and improving the mix a bit also helped. On later projects, we actually started adding about a quart of thin set to each bucket of mix to improve the workability, and it sticks better that way too. Using the official recipe, the first layer is the scratch coat. It's about 3 eighths of an inch thick. Then we run the scratch tool over it so the next layer can grip well. The bottom edge of these isn't very important because it will be covered by nearly two feet of earth. Here's a close-up pic so you can see how we worked around an electrical box and a vent. The vent is to let hot air out of the top of the skylight. I'll put a little screen in there to keep the bugs out. Sherry waving after working until sunset, which is pretty late this time of year. Then we give it a few weeks to cure while we work on something else. Here on another Saturday morning and we're mixing up the brown coat. The brown coat stucco mix is very similar to the scratch coat, except we increase the hydrated lime and sand by roughly 10%. This will make a weaker mix so that as it dries, it'll not crack the scratch coat. Looking back, I can see that we didn't put enough water in this mix. We also should have wet down the scratch coat before applying. Anyway, learning curve and all that. But it is hard to screw up stucco. Even if it doesn't turn out the way you wanted it, it can still look good in a different way. Here it looks rather rock-like, so I'm okay with it. The next video really will be about shooting the concrete onto the tower and mezzanine structures. I filmed a lot of side video for that one, so it'll be pretty good. Hit the notification bell to get notified when it's uploaded.